Hey everyone, welcome back to This Is Yubik with Marissa. Today we're going to be looking at sort of a new routine that I have living at home and still doing all my university courses to finish up my first year in psychology. All right, first thing I do in the morning is I get up, usually between 9 and 10 because I no longer have a 9.30 class. First thing I do when I get up is I take a shower, I put on clothes, I put on makeup, and I sort of do this just because I like to keep up like the reality of my life instead of being at home in sweatpants for a few weeks because that will probably drive me insane. So after I get ready, I usually make some breakfast. I'm a huge breakfast person, not a huge fan of lunch and you know, eat a little bit of dinner, but breakfast, very important for me. Um, now that I have a kitchen and I'm not eating the cafeteria food, I usually make like a three egg omelet or some poached eggs, you know, a little bit of spinach, mushrooms, oh, so good. So after I eat breakfast, I usually sit and drink my cup of tea for, you know, half an hour, an hour while watching TV or I read my book or just kind of relax for a little bit more in the morning before I get work done. After I cook myself food, I usually try my best to clean up the best I can because my parents are no longer used to having a teenager at home that they have to clean up after. So currently both my parents are working from home, which means that we have three people in the house all doing independent work in different rooms, which is kind of funny to me. Um, so usually with them working, it's pretty easy to get work done. It's pretty quiet around here. And I probably do work from, I'd say, maybe like 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon until my parents get off work between 4 and 5, you know, to get a few good hours of pretty solid work done in there. I'm definitely the kind of person that, you know, gives a couple hours and has to take a break because I can't focus for much longer than like an hour or two. What I'm going to be doing is doing a lot of psychology reading and some notes on that. And then hopefully if I have time, I will do some of my anthropology and essay work. We'll see how far I get. <laughs> And then after that, so my parents get off work about four or five o'clock whenever they're allowed to clock off, we start making dinner. I'm trying my best to learn how to cook because I don't know how to cook much besides breakfast food. And as of May 1st, I'll be moving into my own place. I'm really excited about that. I just need to learn how to cook. So after dinner, we all clean the kitchen and then we either watch a show together or play some cards. So after some much heated family time of cards, I usually go for a little bit of a drive, just kind of get myself out of the house, but you know, staying in the car so you know, you're still keeping up with the quarantine rules and everything. I um, just like to go for maybe half an hour drive just around, get out of the house, see some nice things, and relax. After I come home, I can usually get a little bit more work done before I just have to clock out for the night because I can't do any more. So I probably get, I probably keep working until probably average till maybe nine o'clock, you know, taking a couple hours for dinner and go for a drive in the middle of, of that. And about on average, nine o'clock to my parents, nine or ten o'clock, like to go to bed. I'm an only child, so once they're in bed, is the house silent, especially coming from residence, is that you're kind of used to having a lot more sound around, so it's dead quiet, it's really strange. And with that time that it's just nice and quiet, I might get some more work done, I might not. Usually I just decide that's enough for the day and I read my book, or I have recently found my Nintendo 3DS, so I have been going ham on all of my old Zelda games, because I have to know if I can still do them. With it being so quiet, it's really easy to fall asleep, which is really nice because I know in residence, as much as you definitely get used to the noise, it's still noise. Like there's been countless times where I've been in, like half asleep and all of a sudden someone's running down the hallway or you can hear someone talking or someone turns their amp on to play music and you're like, what time is it? I don't, really? I definitely find myself still staying awake until the time that I would be going to bed in residence, which is between like midnight and 1 a.m. Other than that, I'm pretty much just staying home, sitting home with my dear family, playing some games, reading some books, watching some Netflix, going for some drives, and uh, just getting my work done, because it's nice and quiet here. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying inside, and we'll see you guys shortly with some new videos. Thanks so much for watching!